Um, now we're going into our legal desk, and of course, with me in our legal desk, as usual, smiling effervescently, is our celebrity lawyer, lawyer Samwa. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning, Benny. You see, I'm fine. It's funny how I see again the people with no breasts are the only people wearing pink. You also wore the pink. Anyway, we'll talk about that. Pink is the color for the time. Um, right. Now, yesterday and the day before, we've been talking about um, children's rights. That is so. Um, that is so. We've discussed... Um, biological children, mm -hmm. and yesterday we opened the topic of adoption. adoption. So we just wanted yeah. to expand on that today yes, yes, and yes. Um, wrap up the whole children's uh, yeah, rights, family, family, law. family law, children's rights, yes, so everything on the right. Because we're going to do something different next week. Yes, yes. Okay. So first things first. Um, in case you were out there and you didn't ex exactly know what adoption is, mm -hmm. kindly give them the definition. Legally. Well, adoption is the process of uh, a process whereby a child. Uh, uh, will be transferred from his biological parents to uh, another person. In other words, another person assumes the rights and obligations towards a child that is not the person's biological child. Okay, okay. So, right. Um, and just so that we cover that yesterday, mm -hmm. um, what are the obligations of the parent? No, the obligations, oh, there are quite a lot to there know. Quite a few. Just a few of them, <laughs> just so that we know. Well, basically, the obligation of the parent is to maintain the child. Yes. Is to ensure that the child is properly maintained, to take care of the child and to protect the child, and to also make sure that the child succeeds under the inheritance, either by will or interstate of the parent. That wasn't too hard? Yes. Uh, yeah, um, okay, now, <laughs> um, forms of adoption. Well, there are two main forms of adoption. We have customary law adoption. And then we have adoption under the Children's Act. Okay. All right. And then, as you know, our customary law is not written. It's got its own uh, essential requirements. And then we have the Children's Act. But I think that these days, most adoptions are done under the Children's Act more than under the customary law. Okay. Yes, so, for instance, I mean, if a, if a child was adopted under the customary law, what is the process? Well, customary law, also, uh, it depends. Uh, it varies from the community to community. But the essential requirements that have come out is that we get the consent of the parent of the child, okay, what we call a juvenile. Then we get, uh, it must be made in the presence of witnesses, normally uh, the family members of the adapter. And then finally, it must also uh, express an intention. The person adapting must express the intention that I am adapting this child to be my child. Um, in, in this situation, mm. what if the child is an orphan customarily? Uh, the parents are not there, they, they, they are like, with the family. Well, under customary law, there is always a social father or, 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 I mean, or parent, yes, or a guardian. Person, so yeah. if the parents are not there, then a guardian is there. So even at worst, we have a family head who can represent okay. uh, and act as such and give such a concept. Okay, great. Um, now, uh, what are the, because we always discuss this as well, the elements of customary law adoption? Yes, to put it straight, we have one, the consent of the parents of the child now, the intention of the party adopting that he intends to adopt, and finally, uh, it must be done in the presence of witnesses. Okay. Now, when it comes to the witnesses, some can be, I mean, advised from coming to, com uh, uh, to committee. Some can have huge numbers, I mean, a whole crowd come around. It can be a ceremony. Okay. Some really will go through ceremony whereby um, sheep or goats are slaughtered, uh, libations, port, etc. But others can do it as simple as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is that the intention is there that I'm adapting this, person, this child to be my child and then the consent of the parents have been obtained. Does there have to be a ceremony? Not necessarily. I mean, not, not huge. Yes, the, uh, a ceremony, but the size of it varies. Okay. okay. It can be very simple once we have witnesses and the key witnesses are the, the, the principal members of the adapter's family. Okay. Mm. And um, once this has all been done, what are the effects of a customary adoption? then the child is deemed to be the child of the adapter. Right. Now, for all purposes, that child would have power to inherit the customary law uh, uh, and the customary law of the person who adopted him. The person becomes a child, can refer to the, the adapter as yeah, father, yeah. Um, dada, mama, or papa, mm -hmm. etc. For all intended purposes, he is a child. Okay. That right. Is okay. All right. So that's it under the customary mm -hmm. law. Um, let's look at adoption under the Children's Act. And... Um, obviously a lot more detailed exactly yeah. exactly um where do you make an application or how do you apply for adoption yeah if if adoption must be done under the children's act then it must be done in the courts okay it, it can be done either in the high court or a circuit court or sometimes the family tribunal okay. but most often it takes place in the high courts 
the high courts of Ghana. Okay, so That's high it. courts of Ghana. Yeah. And can anybody apply? Who, who? I mean, if I, if I, I'm walking down the road, I see a young child destitute, <laughs> and I say, I'm taking you home with me, <laughs> and I am going to adopt you. I mean, who, can anybody just adopt? Well, yes, the law doesn't limit it much. Uh, once you are a Ghanaian, you can adapt, but the, 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 there's, uh, there are some few conditions. Okay. You must be at least 25 years of age. Right. So anybody below the age of 25 cannot adapt. Okay. And then the person that you are going to adapt, the age difference between the adapter and the child or the juvenile should be at least 21 years. Okay. And that is very important. Right. Okay. Understandable. <coughs> and um, so uh, besides that, the, those are the only people, and there's no problem with anybody applying it, nationality, uh, your gender, none of these things will... No, but people can make joint applications whereby... Uh, we have a situation whereby um, a husband and a wife would um, adapt a particular child mm -hmm. and they make joint applications. Sometimes it can be one of them who will apply for the adoption of the child. Okay. That is so. so it doesn't matter if you're, you are single or not, you can still make an application to... Yes, but if you are single, then the law is more stringent. The, the court must ensure that it is in the best interest of the child in order to, uh, for the child to be adopted. But if you are parents, which are... Uh, if you're a couple, it makes it easier for the courts to see that, well, the child is being adapted to a good family. 